Hi, I'm Russell Jewell, and I'm going to bring to you today the Jewel Box Viewfinder, a uh, viewfinder that I invented and want to uh, show you how to use it in plain air. Uh, as you can see, we are at uh, Kiowa Island today, and I thought maybe we could find some interesting uh, locations to, to paint and to try out the Jewel Box Viewfinder. Uh, as you can see, uh, part of the problem with plain air painting is that there are so many things to choose from uh, it seems almost impossible to decide exactly what you're going to put on the paper. Um, so that's where we're going to begin today. This is the Jewel Box Viewfinder and the features that you have are two sliding opaque doors that will capture a composition within a two inch frame. So I can choose to have a vertical composition or I can choose to have a horizontal composition or I can choose to have a square composition and I can even choose to have a smaller square or a smaller vertical or horizontal based on these two opaque sliding doors. Now another feature of the viewfinder is that it does have a reducing glass. Reducing glass allows me to look at my artwork uh, when I back up from a distance uh, and to see it from a distance. It also allows me a wide angle view when I'm using it. If I look through here uh, without the uh, reducing glass, then it seems to be up close. If I put it to uh, work together with the reducing glass, then it has a wide angle view. Now, the other two features are sliding transparent doors, which as you can see will superimpose a grid over the top of the image that I'm looking at. So I'm going to try to help you see what I'm looking at today uh, through the viewfinder and then try to show you how to line it up with the painting or with the canvas or the paper uh, that you're working with. Okay, well here we are and what I'm going to try to show you is how to use the Jewel Box viewfinder. Uh, what I have here is my paper, uh, predetermined in terms of the size that I'm going to be working on. I will open my viewfinder to line up with those outer dimensions of the paper. If this were a canvas, I would do the same thing. And so now that I have my viewfinder lined up with that outer dimension, whenever I look through the viewfinder and see the opening, then I can determine that that might be an interesting painting because now I am looking in the same proportion of my paper. So I have set up an image for us to work with today. And this is what I'm looking at working with in terms of trying to draw. Now I have closed down the transparent doors, as you can see, the whole viewfinder. And the transparent doors, the edges of those doors, create a crosshair grid. And what I'm going to do now is to draw the same crosshair grid on my paper. The way I like to do it is simply mark here mark here and then it's easier to see the shorter distance there. I come over, I mark here, I mark here. This then is the middle of my paper. Uh, I do the same thing up top, mark here, mark here. This becomes the middle. I mark here and I mark here and now I have a crosshair grid similar to what I see in the viewfinder. So I am ready to now look through the viewfinder and draw what I see in proportion to the grid uh, that I see in the viewfinder and the grid that is on my paper. So again, this is the image uh, that I will be working from. Uh, you can see that I've got the rocking chair uh, in the upper left hand quadrant as well as the um, post and then the rope comes down with a little landscape in the background. Uh, as you can see, the shadows are already changing, uh, but I wanted you to see this image for just a minute uh, as I try to uh, begin to draw it onto the paper. So I am beginning with my drawing in my lap, and I quickly take down the landscape along the top, paying attention to see where it comes out from the side. These trees end here, just above middle. Uh, then I have the water line. 
Actually, there's a grass line here as well. Comes in. I have the water line and the foreground grass is still just above middle. This brings me to the post. The post is here. Runs parallel with the middle of my grid line. It comes down and just about here, it sits at an angle in terms of how it sits on the porch or the dock. And it comes back over at an angle just under here. Uh, I am now ready to take a look at the rocking chair. Rocking chair goes from about here. I'm looking to draw the largest part of the rocking chair early on. Rocking chair comes in perspective. Checking the middle. The, luckily the uh, Armrests are just about in the middle. That helps me to, to get my accuracy down a little bit. And so you begin to get the idea of how I am using the jewel box viewfinder, even with this somewhat difficult drawing, to stay in fairly good proportion. And I see that that rope runs right into my armrest, but I think I'll drop it a little bit below so that it doesn't interfere with the armrest, making uh, an artistic decision for myself. And then the post runs out this way. The rope runs a little low on this side. So, I've got uh, my trees coming in here, laying through. And now you can see uh, pretty much the comparison between the drawing uh, and the image. So what we have here is we have an open view of the entire world and uh, we're trying to do a plein air painting. Uh, as you can see, here's the image that I am working with. I pull the viewfinder in. This is the image that I am now looking at to try to draw. And now you will see that I have come and I have lined the same image up with this and you can see my drawing here and I'm ready to paint. So, jewel box viewfinder. Something that allows you to capture your own composition in the world. It allows you to superimpose a um, grid over the top of the image for your proportional drawing. Hope you enjoy it. Check it out, check out russelljewel.com. Hope you have a wonderful day and uh, happy painting.